Are you lunging this morning? Recording. <laughs> okay. Hey. That's gonna be a fat <laughs> clip. Here we go, guys. <laughs> Summertime kayak adventures. It's 104 today. We got out here super, super early, and we're ready to go catch some fish. Now, I gotta do a little bit of rigging, but before we get into that, I got a message from my old boy Carl for you guys. Hey there, LFG, OSG, LFD, TLC, BLT, OMG, and whoever else is watching. I've got a Mondo announcement for you here. Carl's Bait and Tackle. You ever heard of it? It's my new tackle store that I made just for you. And the best part is, it's online. You don't even have to go to the store. We'll have new products for you every month. And a members only section. You sign up, you get 30% off the entire store. It's like a Costco membership, but for fishing. And you can find all of it right now at shopcarls.com. Just go there right now. I'll wait. I'm not wearing a watch. We've also got a sweepstakes going on right now. So check out the link below for all the details on that. Now get out there and give it a dangle. When this video is over, go to shopcarls.com and see what we got going on. Tight lines. Thanks, Real KVD. Appreciate you. By the way, guys, Dugan Bates is going to be available at Carl's very soon. Question. Yeah. I'm just doing circles right now. You literally are just doing circles. It won't go anywhere. Uh, your rudder is not down. You can't tell me he didn't want it. That's Kayak fishing, always an added challenge, but I enjoy doing it because it's quiet. You can sneak up on fish. There's more of an intimate relationship with the fish. Get down there reach into their face. <sighs> Smell the goodness in the quiet, natural atmosphere. Okay, here we go. That's it. There he is. Come on. Got it. Go oh, gosh! Are you serious? No, just the jump was one of the best of the year. I mean, he came like five feet out of the water. On the slim shake, guys, throwing it weightless up there in the shallows. A little finesse on these guys. Look at him. What a hammer. That's a good one. Wow, wee jeepers. I got a bite in there. God, the fish is still thick for a summer fish. I got a bite in there, I felt a little tick. I thought it might have been a bluegill, but I wasn't sure. I threw back in there and then, thump, and then he held on to that bait for like five seconds before I set the hook, so that's awesome. We'll get a, we'll get a pick of this for the Guggen Baits grams, and we'll let him go. All right, guy, really enjoyed you. Thank you so much. Get your gills wet, get you ready. What do you think? Boom, he gone. So we made a little switch. We decided to come over to the other side of the lake because since the last time we were here, it's definitely gone down. And that technique right there is basically just a, a finesse technique. You know, you can fish a lot of weightless baits 
uh, wacky rig style. This is just called weightless Texas rig style. It's really important to have a straight worm. You cannot do this technique unless you have a very straight worm. And the awesome thing about Guggen baits is that all our baits come in clam packs like this. So when you take them out of the package, they're perfectly straight. They're not going to be kinked because if the tail gets kinked at all or near the head area, it's going to make that bait spiral down and that's not what you want. If you see this underwater, what this bait does is it glides and it's going to do a sharp twitch left and right when you move it. It's also got some cool wagging action on the way down, but throwing a little bit heavier hook like this, a heavier gauge, like this is an owner uh, four-aught offset worm hook. That weight helps give it a little more action too. And the rod I'm using is a 6.6 medium heavy. It's actually a pretty stiff rod. I'd prefer a little bit lighter rod for this right here, just so I can have more action to skip it. But uh, this is just what I had on hand this morning. And it's good for this kayak. The length is, oh man, another one took it right away. Oh, he came off. Did not get a good hook set on him. So if you're ever fishing a small lake or any lake, really, pond, and you've got trees around it, like if you look at the other side of the lake here, it's sunny over there. Still, we've probably got an hour left of shade on this side just because of the hill and and the trees and the fish get used to that every day, the birds, everything. They kind of get in their little rhythms. You know, they don't have eyelids, so they're not about to get out there without some Ray-Bans, you know? Oh yeah, just listen to those cicadas. That's when you know it's gonna be a hot one. Anyway, I'm liking the shade right here. I think this is a good move coming to this end of the lake. So we're both gonna explore it now. Oh, there's a bite. Hang on to it. Gotcha. Oh. oh, he's little. Oh my gosh, he almost jumped in the boat. Let him, let, let him take it underneath trees. I mean, it's just, it's the deal. Because there's always stuff falling off of there. Oh, there's another bite. He let it go. Stuff's always falling off of there. And fish are coming and getting it. And there's, there's bluegill. There's all sorts of stuff. So I wouldn't recommend throwing straight 30-pound braid unless you're in really muddy water. But normally I'd throw this on like 10-pound fluoro. GoPro, start recording. GoPro, make me a sandwich, please. <laughs> oh, come here. Be a big one. Doesn't feel big. Oh, but I'll take you. GoPro, thank you for the fish. Thank you, buddy. I was talking to my GoPro. We were having a little moment there. I did ask for a fish earlier, so it it actually worked. That is a nice little fish there. A little two pounder. We'll let him go. Having to finesse him a little bit. Now, one thing I'll tell you guys, when you're th throwing these weightless worms like this, many of times you're not even gonna feel the bite. The good thing is they hang on to it for a long time because different than a Texas rig, uh, they don't have, feel that weight hanging out of their mouth. So it really feels natural, subtle to them. When you're throwing a Texas rig or a jig, you're feeling that weight hit the back of the fish's mouth and it's like a boop. And you don't usually feel that with this. So you gotta pay attention to your line, see if it's moving. Actually, I'm using bright pink line today, which is, a little off the normal kilter of uh, what I use, but I just happen to have some laying around. I put it on for uh, for catfishing, literally, and uh, I can see it move pretty good. So, but if I'm fishing clear water, I'm going to tie a leader on this 100% if I'm doing this technique. So another fish coming in the shade, up shallow, subtle summer presentation. God, they smell good. I love the smell of our baits, guys. We've really spent a lot of time on this, and man, I'm not just proud of the smell. I'm proud of everything about it, but I just love the way everything came out on these baits, and I know everyone's been reviewing them online and everything already, and they've had really great 
reviews and people love them and it's just exciting man i mean me personally i don't even have that many of them because we're still waiting on more to come in it's just a really cool feeling to catch fish on a worm that you designed you know this is actually rob's worm right now that i'm using but, uh can't believe it can't believe i'm catching fish on it it actually works you guys probably can't see but there's like a green film on top of the water it looks to be an algae bloom those happen a lot of times in the summer in still lakes and ponds you know, parts of lakes that don't get a whole lot of wind and this is the back of a pocket so eh, it's not really good you know don't really want to see that wow one just ate on that rock back there definitely hurt him when it's dead still like this and you're throwing a weightless bait it is really easy there's a bite Got it. all the way in the back really easy to see the bite that was cool he was in the dirt oh man that was almost like a frog fish back there uh, come here buddy <laughs> you guys probably saw how hard that strike was so easy to see when you're using that uh that line and it's super super calm that fish was all the way back there look at that green slime that algae okay time for another worm dangle that's why i brought this rod right there oh god don't think that was a fish actually but i got excited oh there he is He's biting it Oh, that's a tiny one. That's not the same fish. There's got to be more in there. That is a healthy little fish, though, I tell you. Look how thick that little dude's back is. It's huge! Dude! Freaking a huge one, bro. Yes. Hit it right at the bank. Oh my gosh, dude, it's gigantic. I think it could be a double, bro. Staying down. Oh my gosh, it came off. Don't tell Rob, but that was a tiny one. Well, that's how I'm gonna end my day. Did you see it? Yeah. It's about 12 yeah. <laughs> inches. Oh, <God. laughs> Yee -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Bam. You got me. Okay. Bam, that was okay. fun. I felt bad for like 30 seconds. Pretty good at this. Hey. Oh, yeah. Let your oh my. <laughs> I am stuck. Boy. I know what I need to do. I need to get my right foot wet, but I don't want to. I'm too old, man. I got to go in. <laughs> my younger days, I would have. I would have tried to use that crotch power, but. It's just not there anymore. There's no crotch powder left. It's gone. Oh, man. Uh, had a little fun there at the end. Ended with a 12 incher. <laughs> Rob thought it was a giant for a minute. It was kind of funny. We got to put the yaks up on this thing. Not just one, but two. You don't want them falling off on the streets. If you guys want to know a funny story about that, I had, uh, I had something fall off on the road one time and it hit a pedestrian and it was a bad deal. I can tell you that in another story. Let me know in the comments. Hey, fun day, Rob. How many did you catch, you think? Ten. Yeah? yeah? Yeah, I probably had like eight or so. I mean, not a bad summer morning. I mean, it's what, nine? No, it's 10.09. We're done, done ski. Okay, there you go, before my back breaks. Just gentle right here at this moment. <laughs> okay, on my count, okay. you should give it a send. Oh, great. Blows. 
That's fun. Yeah, it keeps you young. Yeah, thank God. That's what we needed in a lot. So I just want to show you guys this one little thing because I know it really will help you catch fish. I am down to my last Guggen bait out here today. When you go with the weightless Texas rigging technique, and it's important to use the right hook so you get the good fall rate. This one is a 4 aught offset worm hook, and it's a it's an owner, it's a heavy gauge hook, so it's got a little bit more weight to it. And I go through the nose like that, come through, down, twist. So always pinch your worm up like this. Very, very important to get that worm straight and then pull down. So that worm is totally, totally straight. And what ends up happening with that, you get a cool glide effect. If you twitch it, it's gonna go off to the side, and then it has a nice little shimmy fall shake. And you can go through the thickest of cover with this. Fish it right over the grass, you can go through tree limbs, bushes, all that kind of stuff. You could skip it up under docks. That's why I threw it on the spinning gear so I could skip it up under, not docks, was, but I was fishing uh, bushes and trees. So I knew there were some bushes and trees out there. Uh, there wasn't as much water on there as I hoped, but that was how I got some of my bites, was taking the spinning rod and then pitching it. This is a 6'6 medium heavy. I'd say that's a little stiff for doing this uh, to actually skip. I was able to do it. A medium would be better. Uh, if you use braid especially, you'll be able to get a good hook set. That is a great setup for when it's really hot, stagnant, you still want a shallow fish. If you've got overhanging trees, bugs, and bluegill, and all sorts of little fish, hang around under those trees. So you skip this up under there, it looks like something fell out of the tree. Nice glide, and then they grab. Make sure to go ahead and hit the like button for today's video, getting out there doing some exploration. I need to go fix my AC. So I gotta go tend to those things, but guys, I love making these videos for you. Uh, it is an escape, it is a passion, uh, it means so much uh, to me, so thank you for tuning in. Subscribe right here if you want to see more, of course you do, go ahead and do it. Hit the notifications so you can get all the videos when they pop up. And be like wham bam, thank you Sam, I'm going to watch LFG ma'am. I'll see you back here real soon guys, I'm still working on the table, tons of projects, more fishing and I'll see you.